Hey, my name is Noi and I draw things. Yo guys, what's up? Um, thanks for watching. Um, in this video, I revisit this drawing right here. And I'm going to be drawing the beast. Let me show you. Oops, it's all done. Damn it. Okay, anyway. I'm going to be drawing that guy. Well, I've drawn that guy, as you can see. It's going to be done in real time. I'm not going to ramp, ramp it or anything like that. I think it clocked just a little over 30 minutes just to do the, um, not the full line art, but just to do the rough. So I'm drawing and I'm talking and I go through the um, a breakdown of how I, how I would rough out a drawing. So that's it. Um, check it out. And um, yeah, let me know what you think. Okay, so this is it. We are Rampity McRampersoning. <laughs> See, I wanted to do this thing without having to ramp, like in real time. But after viewing it, it was just so crazy slow. There were times where, I mean, it was interesting, right? Because you get my perspective as I'm drawing. And I think that is valuable. But then you'd get times where I'd forget, like, controls and how to do, you know, how to, like this, like how to save properly and how to use the program properly so I thought I would just like um, ramp it up and commentate over what I'm drawing just my thoughts and stuff like that as well so right now I'm just testing out different poses and stuff like that I think I had a I drawn it reversed um, before but I didn't like it but now I'm trying it with the arm coming out and um, it, it just was the wrong angle so I had to change all this up and I'll go through this and it, it doesn't really take me that long and ideally I'd like to go through if I was doing this from scratch and I, I wasn't referencing anything like Jim Lee's drawing the, it's a very particular pose that I'm going for I, I didn't want it to deviate too much from what Jim has done because it is an homage to the original piece but if I was to do this thing and start from scratch um, if this was an original character with no history or anything like that I'd probably want to draw maybe three or four different poses for this character and the process would be a lot longer but for this one here I'm just doing one I'm just tied to one which is good but could, it could also be kind of um, limiting it could be a hindrance and oftentimes it could even be harder than if I was to um, kind of come up with my own pose even though I am coming up with my own pose here I am changing up a lot so here you see I'm breaking up perspective drawing and I do this for everything and it helps a lot it's good to kind of um, do this type of a, a breakdown um, because if you don't then your proportions are gonna be thrown off so it's very good and I want to do this I actually want to do um, one of these um, videos on proportions and um, not proportions sorry on perspective because I think it's valuable and I have um, some important things to say about it um, my background is comic book art, so I think, in my opinion, I may be biased, but I truly believe that comic book artists are probably the, some of the best artists in the world because um, they have to draw so much, they have to have so much knowledge of perspective and um, anatomy and everything. It just, it just, it's so, it's, it's so vast, the knowledge that you have to have is the word I'm trying to find, I guess. It's um, no joke, and it's hard. I did comic books. I did six issues of a comic book called Exalted, and it really burned me out. It was the hardest job I'd ever done in my entire life. I was so burned out, in fact, I, I didn't draw for the next six years. Like, literally. it's It, it killed me. Um, but that's also because I was doing... Um, I had a 9-to-5 job on top of it. <laughs> so I kind of bit off more than I could chew. It was a great experience, but also a terrible experience at the same time. Because... I just felt like I let down a lot of people and it still haunts me till this day and I hate letting down people it's the worst feeling ever especially um, if you're an artist and, and people are depending on you um, so here I'm just you know messing around tweaking some things and I'll use like I think I use three layers here one for the upper body one for the legs just so I can kind of position it and move it around easily um, so I'm liking this so far I think I uh, I just went with a smaller arm. Um, but this was a lot of fun to draw. I'm not a huge fan of the Beast. <laughs> uh, but surprisingly, it, it turned out pretty good. 
And um, I'm commentating now. I actually did the clean lines already. You probably saw it at the beginning of the video. All that is done. So here I'm talking about like exaggeration. How that could, how you can, how some people really play on exaggeration. And if you do that, then you really don't have to stick to proper anatomy, right? It just becomes such a unique, um, it becomes a unique, a unique style, and you can kind of get away with kind of bad anatomy, sort of. Um, I think that's it. Like I ramped this up super fast, so I'm not saying a lot here. Um, um, I didn't think it would go by that quickly, actually. I think this is just a little over seven minutes, I believe. Um, Okay, I'm gonna have to rethink about this format, um, and then we'll see. We'll go from there. The next um, drawing is gonna be the clean lines. So for that, I'm gonna ramp up for sure because that's a longer than this. Um, but this has been fun. Like I think I'm gonna stick to this format. It's very quick for me to edit, which is a plus. And I think I'm gonna close off there. I think I'm pretty much done. All right. Hope you enjoyed that. Now, end. And now. So that's it guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, like I said, kind of boring. I just kind of talk and talk. You just can't get me to shut up. It's impossible. But um, I hope you found that useful at least. Um, remember to hit that like. Subscribe would be amazing. Uh, thank you very much for your time. And I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye-bye.